Welcome to our 50th devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship, Sustaining Faith, Job, 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9, TLB. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but not crushed and broken. We are perplexed because we don't know why things happen as they do, but we don't give up and quit. We are hunted down, but God never abandons us. We get knocked down, but we get up again and we keep going. Psalm 34, 19 ESV. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Today is Friday, March the 4th, 2022. Monica and I are here at Providence Canyon State Park in Lumpkin, Georgia. It is sometimes referred to as Georgia's Little Grand Canyon, and it is also considered one of the seven natural wonders of Georgia. And I'll be putting a link down below in the description. You can check these out. God's Word reveals all. God hides nothing, not the tragic, not the amazing, not the awful sins, not the unjust, nor anything in between. The book of Job is the book where the big question is marked. Why? Why did God give Satan permission to bring upon Job the bread of adversity and the waters of affliction? Job 1, 6-12 NLT one day the members of the heavenly court came to present themselves before the Lord, and the accuser, Satan, came with them. Where have you come from? The Lord asked Satan. Satan answered the Lord, I have been patrolling the earth, watching everything that's going on. Then the Lord asked Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job? He's the finest man in all the earth. He is blameless, a man of complete integrity. He fears God and stays away from evil. Satan replied to the Lord, Yes, but Job has good reason to fear God. You have always put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. You have made him prosper in everything he does. Look how rich he is. But reach out and take away everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. All right, you may test him, the Lord said to Satan. Do whatever you want with everything he possesses but don't harm him physically. So Satan left the Lord's presence. How was Job able to have sustaining faith through the unexpected circumstances of all his children's death, the casualties of his animals and property? How do we have sustaining faith through our adversities and afflictions, through the lens, seeing our lives through God's eyes? Those words through the lens came to Bobby and me by way of messages we have listened to, devotions we have read, and literally by Bobby looking through the lens of his camera. What we cannot see with the naked eyes, Bobby can see through the lens of his camera. God knows the next second of our lives. We are limited to what we see at the present. By looking through God's lens, his word, we are walking by faith, many times sustaining faith. 2 Corinthians 4, 16-18, the message. So we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. On the inside, where God is making new life, not a day goes by without His unfolding grace. These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times, the lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are here today, gone tomorrow. But the things we can't see now will last forever. What lens was Job looking through for him to have incredible sustaining faith after the death of all his children and all his wealth up in flames and stolen? Job 1, 20-22, the message. Job got to his feet ripped his robe, shaved his head, then fell to the ground in worship. Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked I'll return to the womb of the earth. God gives, God takes, God's name be ever blessed. Not once through all this did Job sin, not once did he blame God. Whose lens was Job looking through compared to the lens that Job's wife was looking through after another attack from Satan, but this affliction was Job's help. Job 2, 
7 to 10, the message. Satan left God and struck Job with terrible sores. Job was ulcers and scabs from head to foot. They itched and oozed so badly that he took a piece of broken pottery to scrape himself, then went and sat on a trash heap among the ashes. His wife said, Still holding on to your precious integrity, are you? Curse God and be done with it. He told her, You're talking like an empty-headed fool. We take the good days from God, why not also the bad days? Not once through all this did Job sin. He said nothing against God. Whose lens are you looking through? Psalm 119, 18 NLT. Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions. Are you like Job, looking through God's lens, or Job's wife, looking through your lens? This concludes our 50th devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship, Sustaining Faith, Job, Romans 10, 17, ESV. So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here today at Whitewater Creek Park Campground on the Whitewater Pond, Oglethorpe, Georgia. Come along and journey with us by subscribing to our channel. Hit the little notification bell so you won't miss our next stop. And please, give us a thumbs up and help us to share the gospel through these videos by sharing them on your social media platforms. 2 Timothy 4.2 TLB To preach the word of God urgently at all times, whenever you get the chance, in season and out, when it is convenient and when it is not. And the verse goes on to say, encourage them to do right, and all the time by feeding them patiently with God's word. Thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you, and also your prayer requests so that we know how to pray for you.